friends, there has been an update to Tinkercad and I'm here to share it with you. So let's get cracking. Friends, welcome to Tinkercad. You can visit it at www.tinkercad.com. I find sign in with social to be the fastest way to sign in. And this is where we create 3D designs, circuits, or code blocks. Today we're going to talk about 3D design. So let's jump in there. This is the Tinkercad work plane. We simply put shapes over here. This is how you get back to the desktop and this is where we name files. I'm going to change the name of this to update just so I can keep track of what project it was. If you right click drag with your mouse, you can orbit. Of course, you can also do the same thing with the view cube. You've also got buttons for the home view. We've also got quick links to home view, fit all in view, zoom in, zoom out. And then this one switches from orthographic or flat view to perspective view which can really help you while you're designing. So Tinkercad has basic shapes that we build with. You simply drag them out. When you grab another shape, you could set it on the work plane, but check it out. It has also got something called crews that they drop exactly on top of the next shape. You can set them on sides, all sorts of things as you build. So let me show you the new things that were added. This is a fantastic tool, drop to work plane. So when I bring this out here, if it's accidentally above the other shape, so notice I intentionally just lifted it up, you can hit the shortcut D to drop it. But if you were working with an iPad, you could not access that because you didn't have a keyboard. Bingo, now we can drop to work plane. We can also put the work plane places. Right here is the work plane, and now the next shape comes out right on that spot. That is the same as cruising, but a lot of times we used to do this manually. Right now I'm going to show you. I've got this floating up here in the air crazy because we've got the work plane right here. I can click on this shape, and I can drop it to the work plane just like that. The shortcut for work plane is W. I just clicked it, and notice I'm putting the work plane back. And I'm going to show you this quick. If I stretch it skews and breaks that shape. If I do control Z, that's undo. And then here's the other magic button, shortcut E, it's called the shape work plane. It brings back the work plane that allows you to stretch this the way you wanted. So if you lose that work plane that I call the living work plane when we cruise, you can get it back by simply hitting E and it lets you stretch it the way you wanted in what I call the living work plane. How cool is that? So these are two features that users could not get access to if they were working on a tablet and bingo, you now have access. A fantastic upgrade for users that are working on tablets. Another thing I'd also like to highlight is that the toolbar now collapses to appropriate sizes. Of course, super handy if you've got less screen real estate. Before I wrap up, I do want to mention projects with the HLMT23 tag. Friends, whenever you create a project, if you make it public by clicking up on the gear, choosing public, and you tag it with HLMT23, I check these out every day, and of course, I will give you a reaction. When you do check them out, if you click View in 3D, you can actually see the design build completely, but after a moment, you can zoom in and check it out from every angle. What a fantastic project, and thank you for sharing Jet Designs. Check out this one from ZDP189. It is a shape for simulating egg drops. Of course, he's left it set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and actually test this simulating egg drop. How cool is that? I do also want to highlight the sweet monster truck by the lemur. WASD controls working on a backflip to make it land completely fantastic project once again make sure you give a reaction before you copy and tinker just glancing quickly at the rest of the designs thanks for the cool designs Lucy Bruno always appreciate your shares do note there's a lot to scroll through love the dirt track racer that is fantastic cloud models awesome illusion check out this sweet car from speed dude performance if i don't spot it the first day because it's a little bit low that always lets me know to check out your designs and give a reaction to friends as you're scrolling down there are so many awesome things note a new discord has sprung up that might be worth checking out 
course, I always appreciate the bulldog designs. And if we go all the way down, as we scroll further, we've got a sweet design by Milk101. And if you look even down this far, we've got some fun creations by Eggman. Friends, as I wrap up, huge shout out to Tinkercad for adding those buttons. Oh my gosh, I think those are going to be so handy for people working with tablets. Of course, friends, I also want to thank you for using the HLMT23 tag. It always makes my day to see cool things each day. Finally, I want to send a huge shout out to everybody that's chosen a channel membership. Of course, there's three different levels of support and it's always appreciated. I also want to say thanks to everyone that's supporting me via Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.